Mr. Shrinko. We're coming to you today from Automotive Training Center of Warminster. I'm here with one of my students in my brakes class, River. River's car here is a 2010 uh, Toyota Yaris, and his complaint today is he has a low brake pedal. So we removed uh, the wheels to check the brakes and do a brake service and adjustment. You can see the brakes are way out of adjustment. There's no drag at all. So River is going to remove the drum, and we're going to take a look at the brakes and see what we have. So. Okay, so we have uh, drum brakes uh, on the rear of the car, and we have some measuring tools here, okay? There's two different tools. One is for measuring riveted brake linings, the other one is for measuring bonded, okay? So if you look at the example I have of the linings here, bonded ones, the lining material is glued or bonded to the steel uh, mounted bracket. On a riveted, okay, we have rivets that hold it down. So when you're taking a measurement on a riveted uh, brake shoe, hold that, you're gonna use this special tool to measure the riveted linings. You're just gonna find the lowest point of the brake lining and then push the tool into the rivet and that'll give you a reading, which in this case is a three and a half, almost four. Brand new brake shoes are normally about a five. Now. As you can see from the linings on his Toyota, they're bonded. So River right now is going to set the tool up by measuring how thick the actual steel is. He's going to zero out the tool. Now he's going to take it off and he's going to find the thinnest point of the brake linings between the front and the back and he's going to measure it with this measuring tool. Okay? Yeah, so these are about a one and a half okay. out of the five specs, so it's going to be failing. So we're going to have to replace the brakes on his car rather than just adjust it. 